Hi there, today I want to talk to you about a really cool little uh, add-in in Microsoft Teams, and that is a polling add-in called Slido. It's one that I've used a lot before, so excited to see this integrated here within Teams. So you can see I've got a tab here, sitting here in Teams in this general channel of our staff team, and the question's going here, where do you go on holidays, and I can add a response in there. Um, so let's just say the city send that response and <clears throat> for this particular poll it's creating a word cloud of all of the responses so the responses that get more uh more responses doubled up they'll get bigger in there so we're creating a word cloud there but i can i can do that anywhere i like so i'll show you how you can set this up so in teams um what you can do is over here in the three dots you'd first need to add uh, Slido as an app here to Teams, all right? So three dots over here and search for Slido and you will see that it will pop up there. So I'm gonna select Slido. Now you can add it to a chat or you can add it to a particular team. So in this case here, I'm gonna go add to a team and I'm gonna choose the team that I'm gonna add Slido to. So search for it, so uh, year 11, let's add it to my year 11 team. And you can see I'm going to add it to the general channel. Okay, so it just says set up a tab. So once you click on set up a tab, that should take you directly to, yep, that channel in the team. And we're going to have another tab along the top here in my year 11 team that is going to be just for Slido. All right, so if you've never set up an account with Slido, the free version gives you uh, the ability to have three polls per event you can see i've got a couple of events here this is one that i set up previously and this is the one here that i set up for that other channel here so you can post to the channel about this one here so if you haven't got an account it will ask you to uh, sign up for an account here and you can do that and you can get a free account and the free account allows you to run an event and have three polls in there but in this case here we probably just want one but you can you can create one with three polls in there uh, if you're doing a lot of this polling and you've seen Slido before, it's great to have one of the educator um, accounts in here, uh, which allows you to have as many polls as you want in an event and as many events as you want and that sort of thing. Okay, so um, I'm not gonna choose that one, I'm gonna go create an event. All right, you can see I've already logged in. So create an event, it says I'm all set and I'm just gonna go save. All right, so it's just called Slido Q&A in there and it's particularly related to that event um, that I just created here. So we're not gonna see anything here because I, the people can type a question in or there's no, um, there's no polls running at the moment. But if I jump over to Slido here, you can see now it's created this other event here. It also has a code, so you can join that event if you want to. So uh, it's just called Teams Meeting. So if I click on that one there, uh, you will see, okay, what kind of poll do you wanna create? It could be a survey, it could be an open text response, response the one that I chose the one I just demoed was a word cloud or you could go uh, multiple choice so multiple choice um, we could say something uh, just give it a general question what's the question and the first option is yes and the second option is no so you can have yes or no and you can even have you know correct one so okay I'm going to say the correct answer to this quiz is yes all right and you can select multiple as well so they can select more than one there all right Creating a survey is neat. It just allows you to uh, do multiple polls uh, so people can work through them multiple questions at a time. That's what a survey is. All right, and you can add an uh, a image on there as well if you want to, to this question. So I'm gonna save that. So I've saved that in there and then you can see all I need to do to start running that is hit this little activate poll. All right, now if I jump back to Teams, we've now got that poll activated straight away. So I'm gonna say yes and send that answer and there we go. You can see that the polls um, go alive. Now, if I was on another device, um, I would see the poll uh, pop up and I'd be able to enter my um, answer. And then I would be able to see the response directly right here, uh, editing and coming up live with the answer as I go along, which is pretty cool. And I can add polls um, on the fly here so I can create another poll and make this one open text. And say this one's question two and say save and i'll just see what show how quickly that this can work so let's go over to teams here so um let's go back to our q a sorry our polls and uh, this open text poll here so we're running this one here at the moment now i'm going to run the open text poll 
can see straight away over here, I can write in my response and send that response in answer to the question. All right, and you can see the responses will appear here now over in Slido as you're logged in in a browser, but um, you can see the responses there. And if I was in class, I'd be able to see all of the text responses appear here. Slido is great because you have things like moderation on the polls for the paid version. You can moderate, so you can sit here and moderate the results of seeing that you're seeing in here. I like the integration here with Slido and Teams. It's really easy to set up. Uh, you can see I could just hit the plus button now, now that I'm signed into this particular team and I might want to run another poll on another day, I just choose Slido Q&A and off and running again. I can just click on new event and yep, create an event and then it's really quick to be able to put those questions in and be able to get the responses directly there in Microsoft Teams. So there you go, a neat integration between Slido and Microsoft Teams.